If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG World 2020. We are going to be taking a look at at least two hopefully more different decks today. Um, we are going to be playing with Gardevoir and Sylveon Tag Team GX. And this list I believe got 9th place at the World Championships bubbled out of top eight and Garver and Sylveon was definitely one of the decks, one of the archetypes rather, that um, was very close to, um, or that had the best conversion from day one to day two, based on the amount of players that played it. Um, Alex, Nicholas, Squad, Panda, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, so yeah, I do think, um, I do think this deck, um, it's being a little underrepresented right now, although yeah, although Mewtwo, Mewtwo and Mew Tacting definitely um, can be a bit problematic. Yeah, can be a bit problematic for um, for this deck because of the attack purge. Um, this deck is playing four power plants in order to try and counteract that. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, we have our Gardevoir and Sylveon Tacting GX 260 HP. And the attack fairy song where we search our deck for up to two fairy energy guards and attach them to our bench pokemon in any way we like so a very nice attack to lead off the game with powering up a bench guard run sylvian getting more energy into play and then we have kaleido storm which deals 150 damage and we move any number of energy from your pokemon to your other pokemon any way you like and finally we have the magical miracle gx attack where we deal 200 damage but if this Pokemon has at least three extra fairy energy attached to it, your opponent shuffles their hand into their deck. So what do I think of no Miss Magius on the list? Miss Magius is definitely something that I always had in my own list and that I would consider to be um, pretty useful. Um, I'm not sure I like the Cernius GX that much because it doesn't offer a great way to um, switch out or anything into a Gardevoir and Sealant GX, but Starting with it is also not the end of the world because even if it goes down, your opponent still has to go through two other um, tag teams. And the Sanctuary GX attack, if timed well, can be pretty cool as well. So I would love to have Miss Magius in here, but I don't think you can have both Miss Magius and Cernus in the deck. Now, supporters wise, we have four Coach Trainer and four Greens, along with the one of Cynthia and the one of Luz, I mean, which I really like because that gives you essentially six power plants to be able to counteract your opponent's stadiums and try to fully shut off um, Mew and Mewtwo tag team, or Mewtwo and Mew tag team rather. Um, aside from that, we have a lot of healing with the Great Potions, no mixed herbs, which makes me very nervous in terms of dealing with the paralysis, though we do have three switch and three tag switches. Um, so that definitely helps a bit dealing with the Choo Choo paralysis. We also have Fairy Charms, um, Lightning type to um, prevent damage from Pigram. We have Fairy Charm Ultra Beast to prevent damage from um, Blastephalon. And we have a single Chase Helmet to reduce overall damage. Now we have for Pokegear to go along with our supporters. We have Triple Reset Stamp to attack our opponent's hand. Double um, Energy Spinner to find the energies along with a very healthy 10 energy count. And our four Custom Catcher along with three Cherish Ball, of course. So let's jump into a ladder and see how we can do with this. No builds analysis indeed, just um, a bit of extra draw with the Cynthia and just pure focus on the Ghost Trainer and the Green's Exploration, which I actually do really like. Yeah, I actually do really like. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so taking a while to find an opponent for some reason. Huh, this happened yesterday as well. I think I'm gonna click cancel. Like I did that and I immediately found someone. Eh, no, no he cargado nada de brillo, cueva del panda de Hidden Fates. Eh, yo creo que voy a esperar a que bajen un poco los precios porque ahorita son una locura. Can I play Chandler next, Black? I already played Chandler a few days ago. The video is up on YouTube if you want to watch it. So I don't think I'll be playing Chandler. Well, I don't think I'll be playing Chandler anytime soon. Um, the next deck I have is Quacknack ready for after Guardian. But hello, Jedi. For some reason, it's this is just not working. This is just not working. There we go. There we go. Hello, Sir Bandage. Thank you so much for being here. Okay. So we get to call the coin flip. Get to call the coin flip. And I would like to go first. That's pretty nice. Yeah, that is pretty nice. And we don't get a mulligan, which is always good for this deck in particular. Always good. Okay, thank you so much for the follow, Black. But yeah, I definitely recommend you go onto youtube.com slash day one if you want to see me play. Um, Quack, thank you so much for the follow. If you want to see me play the Chandler deck. Okay, so definitely attaching. Now, we might be up against Blastephalon. So, I kind of like going for the greens here for a Cherish Ball and another greens. We do find out that the Ultra Beast <laughs> Fairy Charm is prized. So, I don't think we're going to be winning this match anytime soon. But we'll see. We shall see. And then, I think I'll pass here. Happy Thursday, atrocious gameplay. Um, hi, the pep and Alex. It has finally happened. You found every single star coin in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now all you need to do is find every single secret exit, and you will have every shiny star on your file. That's pretty awesome, Alex. You're very dedicated to that game. Oh, we're actually up against the Quacknack deck that I was just talking about. So this is pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty cool. And we are indeed live, Kula Diamond. Hi, how are you doing? And have I recently done a green Zoro deck? Zoro, as in Zorark GX? No. Zorark Greninja GX? Definitely not. Um, okay, so. Will I be using Cernias here? Maybe. I definitely don't think I'll be using the Lightning Fairy Charm, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this guy. Now the Ultra Beast Fairy Charm being priced is not that big a deal. We have tons of power plants to deal with the Keldeo GX, so I'm not too worried about that. And so... kinda don't even want a Greens here, because I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna need. And I'd just be exhausting the Greens options. So I think for now, I'm just gonna Fairy Song here. So choosing not to use a supporter is odd, right? But you do have a finite number of greens. And if you don't need anything in particular, then you can save the greens for later. Like using greens out for your turn would have just been unnecessarily fancy, I think. Fairy Charm, Ultra Beast, and Power Plant kills Blastephalon so bad. Does it though? I mean, I can see that the Fairy Charm, Ultra Beast is easily bypassed by Heatran GX. And, um,. Like, the power plant is annoying, of course, but Blasovlon plays a very healthy 3 stadium count. Hello, Zachary, I'm doing well, how about you? Uh, the pep, I I have no cards for trade, I'm sorry, but maybe someone in chat has. Um, I don't do any trades, because I can't trade, you know? Okay, so this is looking pretty nice. I definitely think I go after the whooper, or do I go after the energies here? Uh, I feel like I go after the whooper, right? I feel like I go after the whooper. Um, okay, I'm, I'm kind of feeling discarding this guy now. Kind of feeling discarding that guy. 
and I'll attach. And then, yeah, I definitely think I go after this guy. And then next turn I can potentially GX. Okay, so now I'm gonna greens, okay? Now I'm gonna greens, definitely for another greens. And then definitely for a power plant. And I'm gonna play it down just to stop my opponent from having infinite uh, Brilliant Force. He already discarded a Brilliant Force, so that's good. I'm gonna collate a storm and I don't think I need to transfer the energy yet, although it would be nice to get the game on Volcanion and eliminate the hand. Am I really worried about anything in particular? I think I'm okay transferring. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna threaten with the Magical Miracle GX here. But I guess I can always just tax switch, right? Maybe that's the right play, to just tax switch away. Okay. Okay. So off to a pretty good start with the deck. Off to a pretty good start. Alright. And there's a the victory, yep. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We get the win. Hey Garduño, todo bien, muchas gracias y tú. Van a ver Giratina, cada vez me parece un peor deck. Porque es derrotado demasiado fácil por eh, el Espion de Oxys en Mew to Mew. Y, y no me encanta. No me encanta eso. Um, so my top 5 or 6 decks right now, definitely um, Mew to Mew, Pigrom, uh, Blounds, mm. why am I, okay so Mew to Mew, Blounds, why can't I think of decks today, the two Reshis arts, both greens and ability, okay so Mew to Mew, Pigrom, Blounds, Ability Reshi, and Greens Reshi. I think those are the top five decks right now in the format. Uh, Pijero Control is also pretty good, but um, it's less... It's like it's annoying and it's very weak to SPN Deoxys, like I mentioned. Uh, can we see your dog on stream someday? Of course! <laughs> One, I'm sure she'll be around sometime. I can show her again. <laughs> I'll be happy to. Is Guardian Tier 1? Uh, I'm not so sure. I feel like it's a bit shaky. I would say it's like tier 1.5, maybe tier 2, but not so much. Um, tier 1. Zachary, Fridays is when I do viewer battles. Yeah, Fridays is when I do viewer battles, so I'll be happy to battle you guys tomorrow. A lot of you guys have been requesting that, so I'll be happy battling you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Sealed your <laughs> the Pandarium. Where is Wifey? Wifey is at work. <laughs> in November, Guardian will be crazy. Why? What happens in November? What's coming in the new sets? What's coming in the new sets for Guardian? I generally don't know. Okay, we're up against Inspector Pika. Um, the likelihood that we get attacked on turn 2 is very high, right? By this Pigram. So, we need a big Poke Gear here. Malamar isn't popular. It is popular, I just think it's really bad. Like, the more I play with it, the less I like it. The more I play with it, the less I like it. Oh, three Tag Team Dragons. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Have I ever had an M&M's chocolate bar? No, I have not, Alex, actually. No, I have not. But if they if it has M&M's, then it's definitely gonna be good. Sacrum, Reshram is a new power creep. Yeah, that's fair. And then with the new... With a Dragon Fairy Charm, right? I can see Guardian being really good, yeah. I can actually see Guardian being really good. Okay. So I top deck the greens, so that's very nice, right? That is very nice. So 
Okay, I'm gonna poke a gear here because that will determine what I get off of the greens. I get a Cynthia, which is a pretty decent card. So because I got the Cynthia, I'm just gonna go for Fairy Charm. The Lightning Fairy Charm plus something else. Maybe even both Lightning Fairy Charms. There's merit to having both. Because like if I force this, then I can probably win the Stadium War. Yeah, I think I like this. Because I need to be able to win the Stadium War to win this match. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do this, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and Fairy Song. And we'll see what tools my opponent is using here. We'll see what tools my opponent is using. Um, now we need Pikachu Charizard Tag Team, right? <laughs> Jedi, thank you so much for the 10 M&Ms. Speaking of, <laughs> thank you so much. Um... Anything you would change about that list, Agartuño? Um, not really. I actually think Shintaro's list is pretty close to perfect. I'm just worried that there's gonna be so much Tapu Fini at AC. Yeah. Paul, thanks so much for the host. Um, Alex, you gotta hook me up with one for each hand. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy to to get hooked up with uh, M&M's chocolate bars. Definitely happy. Okay, so we see the stadium now. We see the stadium now come into play. We see the one head flip, which is fair. There's the light center laps as expected. <laughs> we'll do indeed, Jedi. Thank you so much. These fuller are gorgeous, right? Yeah, I know. They're really, really cool. And we get judged out of our Cynthia. Not the end of the world, but the other two cards, like all, all the cards in my hand were really good. Um, getting this one is still okay. Right, getting this one is still okay, though it's a bit underwhelming maybe. Um, so we'll have to see, we'll have to see what happens. I wonder if I should just custom catch her. Oh wow, my opponent. <laughs> My opponent makes a big oopsies right there. He didn't retreat before playing the life center lab, so Jirachi got stuck up there. Now, I'm gonna coach trainer. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna poke it here for coach trainer as well. Uh, we get our own life center labs, so that is kind of annoying, right? That is definitely kind of annoying. Uh, if they'd have been power plant, we'd be in a really good spot. Uh, benching this guy, probably not a good idea. Oops. Benching that guy was probably not a good idea, actually. Because now I gave my opponent um, custom catcher target, so that was a big oopsies. That was definitely a big oopsies by me. So a mistake for a mistake, I guess. Surprise people are still playing Pigrom, it's definitely dead. Ah, uh, Gyroshan, I completely disagree. And you mentioned upcoming cards. There are so many tournaments coming up before November when we get the upcoming cards, and I wholeheartedly disagree that it's dead. It did pretty well at the World Championships, so how could it be dead? How could it be dead? Definitely disagree with that. Pigram is still a very powerful deck. <laughs> the Pandarium, I mean, so far they've only done tag teams that sure typing, right? So, unless they start doing double typing or triple typing Pokemon, um, Pigram is dead just like Blounds was. Just accept the reality, right? <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, I figure I'm still a very powerful deck. Okay. So we see attack switch being used, but once again my opponent uses Stella Wish. Is he going for the KO? I guess he is with a switch. He must be going for the KO. 
Wait, what? Okay. Oh, wow. He's just banking on drawing a switch. He's just assuming that he's going to find a switch off of this data change. And he's going all in on this play. If this fails, the opponent will be in a lot of trouble. That is such an over commitment. The opponent should have been happy with just full blitzing for some damage. Lost the Thunder Mountain. Lost the Electro Power. Like odds were against him finding that switch. Maybe if you don't play a supporter before the Stella Wish, but. <laughs> yeah, Aqua del Panda. Mantai and Manaphy tag team GX. That would be pretty good. Non GX Malamar still viable? No, I think Malamar is just. I think Malamar should be dead by now. It's inconsistent and it gets wrecked by Espion and Deoxys tag team. So. I think Malamar is the deck that should be dead at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the Coach Trainer. I get a Power Plant. Perfect. And. I get double custom catcher, which is insane because all of my opponent's energy is committed to this guy, right? So this way, I have not only do I avoid the paralysis, but um, not only do I avoid the paralysis, but I get the first hit in, and next turn I get greens and finish this guy off, and then no thunder mountain, no cocoa prism, no more energy, and that's gonna be the game. So we're good here. We are good. Definitely a big, um, a big overcommitment by my opponent to get that KO, which I completely disagree with. Uh, Gyrushan, I mean, it did get top eight at Worlds, but it definitely has trouble with the World Champion deck. Yeah, but I still think it's like it's not tier one. I think tier one are definitely. Mewtwo and Mew and Ability Regisard, but v following very closely are definitely decks like Picarum, um, Green's Regisard, Blounds, yeah. Burps is normal type, but all three of them are different types. Could be one of those. <laughs> that makes sense, the Pandarium, that makes sense. All the Tapu's tag team. That would that would actually be a pretty cool card. And they all share fairy type, so it makes sense. If you can't at least keep up with the world's winning deck, then you should probably pack up whatever deck it is. Yeah. Okay, so my opponent just stands up. Garishan, thanks so much for the follow. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be game, right? I'm pretty sure that's gonna be game. I'll just take the KO here. I'm not gonna even move the energies. No more energies? Yeah, I have no idea. Even if my opponent had gotten the KO, I think the end result would have been the same. That was a really, really big commitment by my opponent. Really, really big commitment, which I completely disagree with. Okay. Looking for opponents. There we go. We're up against a fire deck. We are up against a fire deck. Okay. Oof. What a start. This is not the hand you want to see with this sort of deck. Stadium War 1 indeed. <laughs> Stadium War 1 indeed. Okay. Wait, what? Oh yeah. I for, for a second, I could have sworn that was the old Volcano. And I'm like, wait, what? Am I playing Expanded? <laughs> I was very worried there for a second. <laughs> I generally thought I was in expanded.
At the very least, I need to top deck a Church Ball or a Guardy Sealsian. That's the only thing that would make this hand not atrocious. The only, absolutely only thing here. And that's not a Guardy Sylvian. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Alex. I should have indeed. An atrocious hand indeed. Atrocious gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble here. We're gonna start getting pummeled. We're gonna start getting pummeled. And... <laughs> I mean... That's a person, I guess. Okay, so I'm gonna switch. 200 is still enough to win here. So I'm gonna do... This... And then this, and then custom catcher for two, useless, completely useless cards. Well, that's gonna be it, folks. <laughs> heat factory, heat factory, a runim. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my opponent is heartbroken. Poor opponent having to deal with my death draw. There we go. There we go. Okay, so if I heal. Hmm. I mean, I definitely need to Cynthia next turn, I'm pretty sure. And then I kind of like this. I don't mind not attaching energy too much here because I'm not going to attack anyways. And my choice helmet is fried, so I might as well attach this. And then I'll pass. Next turn I go switch, great potion, Cynthia. And see what happens. If I lose a Guardi, I lose the Guardi. Maybe I could have switched and fairy summed on to this guy. Because I did get to heal. And then I'd be threatening the Sanctuary GX. And I'd definitely survive anything. Wow, my opponent doesn't do anything at all. I am very surprised by that. Okay, but I, I, I can see where we have a chance now. Yeah, which is very nice. So I'll heal, and then I'll Cynthia. Okay, so I do get a KO. Not the best follow-up hand for sure. But at least I'm not threatened to be KO'd next turn. Right? At the very least I'm not threatened and Choice Helmet for my last card is potentially important. Did I ever get my switch back? No, I didn't, Jedi. Sadly, I did not get my Nintendo Switch back. Unfortunately, after my silliness. Ooh, well there's only one energy. If my opponent has to use a GX attack here, I'm gonna be so happy. Well, never mind. Never mind. Okay, I need greens here. That's not greens. I need greens. No! <laughs> Oh, come on, deck. Well, even the Outrage chaos me. Oh well, the deck decides to stop working. The deck decides to stop working right there and then. I left my Nintendo Switch on an airplane, Sir Pandage. <laughs> Very silly of me. I left my Nintendo Switch on an airplane. On my way to Columbus to NAIC. And I reported it to the airline and everything, but they were like, nope, it's not here. So I never got it back. 
I never ended up getting it back. It was very sad. Well, it is very sad. <laughs> but I mean, it's my fault, right? But it's still annoying. Definitely annoying. Okay, so we get our greens and we get a guardy, so that's always nice. Feels bad indeed. Feels pretty bad indeed. I'll survive though. <laughs> I'll survive. Okay. Okay, so Psychic on 2nk, Jirachi, we're up against Malamar. There's a juicy Dedene right there for us to take a KO on. Assuming this is Ultra Necrozma, so the Ultra Beast Fairy Charm could be pretty important. Yeah. And honestly, Cernias' GX attack could also be pretty important. Cernias' GX attack could also be pretty impactful here. So the question is, do I free again or do I just directly go for the charm, for the fairy charm? Every second opponent, just win the next regional. <laughs> that works, your planet. I mean, I did buy the switch. Um, I did buy the switch because I won Vancouver regionals. That was like my personal price. So that would be good motivation, right? That would definitely be some good motivation, I agree. There's nothing I want to get rid of for Radiant Forest, so I'm just gonna go like this. Yeah, I want the Lightning Labs to be the last stadium. And I'll grab greens. I want Life Center Life to be the last stadium that gets played here. So I'll grab B3. The power plant I don't think is going to be very impactful at this stage. But no energy in play is good, right? And then let's ferry song. So we're in a good spot to start attacking, start pressuring. We have Life Center Labs in case we get attacked by a Giratina to not activate the spell tag. We can target down a Malamar as well. Immediately get counter stadiumed. There's an Inke. Ooh, there's a Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX in play already. And there's a Fighting Energy. So this thing actually has Garchomp Kiratina. Which Rogue deck do you think is the strongest right now? Probably Behigem. Probably BM is the strongest, I'd say. Okay, but my opponent now definitely needs the Garchomp Giratina into this card pile, which he will be able to find. And will he GG end? Wow, he already had it in hand. Is he going to GG end my Guardian? Or is he going to deal 160 damage? Uh, we do not play Ability Charm or Psychic Fairy Charm in this version of the deck. We do not play that. Calamity Slash, okay. That's fair. That is fair. Um, I can basically fully heal this guy but the plan is gonna be to attack with the other person i'm pretty sure all right so this i do like getting rid of right no reason not to and then i'm gonna go ahead and grab a switch plus a power plant i think that's good i think that's solid Switch plus power plants. Oh, so had I known this, I would have played the lights in the last first, but I have no information on this being my opponent's deck. So I'll do this, and then I'll go power plant, and will my opponent have the third Viridian draw in his hand? That is the question. And then I'm gonna spread the energy two on two, because if I leave all the energies in the active and he GG ends, then I'm in a lot of trouble, right? 
So there's a Malamar. And there's a Cynthia. So it comes down to my opponent not having the stadium. Goes for a spell tag. That's not a big deal. What? Ugh. Just find the raw stadium. Just find the raw stadium. Jeez. What the heck? Okay. So let's do this. I guess coach trainer it is. Ooh, I got the tag switch. Oh, this is amazing. I got the tag switch and the Cernia. So I was hoping to greens into these two cards, but I will happily take it. It's going to be very costly, but I get to fully heal. Yeah, I think it's worth it for sure. I definitely think it's worth it. And then I'll tag switch both of them onto this guy this is a really cool move not gonna lie and I'll go ahead and play the Lysander Labs and I'll go ahead and thin another Guardi Sylvia this was a really lucky coach trainer yeah 360 damage counters to the active we get three prizes we fully heal and even if we get reset stamped, I think it's fine. There's three Brilliant Force now gone. Based on the fact that my opponent is focusing on Mewtwo and Mew, <laughs> I would have imagined that um, he was playing a fourth one at the very least. But that was pretty brutal. That was honestly pretty, pretty brutal. Not gonna lie. Someone should clip that. Someone should definitely clip that. Okay. So, let's find another game. Let's find another game. Okay, I'm liking this deck and how it's flowing. I am indeed liking this deck and how it's flowing. Busted turn. Buongiorno, Sikyo. <laughs> Buongiorno. Good morning. Okay. Cardi Sylvian. That was epic indeed. <laughs> that was epic. That's probably more epic than removing your opponent's hand. It's probably more epic than removing your opponent's hand for the whole turn. Okay, so now we're up against the Mewtwo and Mew deck. Now we're up against the Mewtwo and Mew deck, so the Latios being in play is annoying. Right? Wait, what? Never mind. Never mind. Power Plant, Koga Strap, and that thing. What the heck? <laughs> what the heck is happening here? Um, the confusion is super annoying, but I have already the switch to counteract that. I also have Cernias to potentially deal with the Latios, which is very nice. I have not tried Pokemon Masters. I see everyone's talking about it on Twitter. I have not gotten around to playing it yet, myself. Yeah. But I will probably download it eventually. Is it good? How good is it, actually? I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and bench this guy. And sure, why not? Let's go for energy spinner. Just get energies into our hand. And then let's attach even more. Let's play down this. And let's very song. Yep, yeah, pretty solid start. Definitely pretty solid start. Um, best case scenario, my opponent doesn't. Attack Purge? Well, he'll probably clear vision. And he did discard the stadium, which you need. So that Latios can attack faster, so I don't get it. 
I don't get it. He can't GX. Poke Ninja Swag. He cannot GX. So this is like a not so great attempt at making like a, a slower-ish deck. Um, okay, so my opponent decides to free retreat. That's fair, right? That is very fair. I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and tag switch from this guy, both energies onto the active so I can start pressuring. I'll go ahead and attack and Kaleidostorm. And we'll pass. Dale, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much for the follow. It's overhyped. You're not having as much fun as you thought, but maybe it's just not your self game. It's a gacha game. I mean, yeah, you have to spend money, right? But I have no idea what, what gacha means or anything. Um, CQ, I have no idea what you just said in Italian. <laughs> Someone help, you're fighting against bird control. <laughs> using what deck, Jedi? If you're using Placephalon, then you want to focus on the Magna Dells. You need to take a price every single turn. I need to have enough energies to make sure that you can retreat your your people. But Nagnadel, like they can't remove all the energy from Nagnadel, so that's pretty important. There's a Synthium. Dale, thank you so much. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you so much for um, for following on YouTube and for being here as well. Okay, so my opponent doing a lot of things, right? But it's not looking like he'll be able to attack me this turn, I don't think. Going crazy with the acrobatics is of strikers. And like I said, like we have certain SGX, so I can just build to that while he tag purges, right? And then I just transfer the damage counters. And if he has to sacrifice a Pokemon right here, then um, we should be fine. It doesn't seem like he has, he's going to though. Doesn't seem like he's going to. This shit ninja is terrible. <laughs> yep. I definitely agree that this shit ninja deck is not looking very, very good. Okay, I definitely think that if I find greens, I'll just go after the Latios. I do not find greens. Um, I actually kind of like the Luzamin more. Okay, so let's go for a Coach Trainer. I did not get the other pair for my Custom Catcher. I think I just take the KO here. And I won't transfer any energy just yet. I'll grab that. The switch is nice. The switch plus the greens means I can actually start attacking with Cernia's GX this turn. Um, we see the Lieutenant Surge. I mean, I assume my opponent is also playing like Reset Stamps and Jesse and James, maybe? But do you like Mimikyu GX in this deck, Doritos? I prefer the Cernia's GX, I think. Um, and we just pulled a really sick Cernius GX play. That was um, that was pretty cool. <laughs> so so yeah. I don't think like Mimikyu is also good though, but it's not as great. Wait, how did he attack? You have four or fewer Pokemon in play. Oh, he has five. Never mind. He has five. So, I mean, I should be able to get a KO. So, do I just go tag switch, KO that guy? No. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to greens for custom catcher and greens. Right, and then I'm gonna custom catcher 
KO one of the substrikers, yeah. And then I'll attach, no, I'm actually gonna hold on to that energy. I feel like I'm gonna play power plant. I'm also gonna play this thing down. And then I'll go ahead and call the storm. And then I'll keep the energy where they are for now. I'll take a prize. And then next turn, I'll use Cernias to KO this guy with a GX attack. And then afterwards, I just need. Fairy energy is fine. Afterwards, I just need my other double custom catchers to get another KO, and that's the game. Traffic doesn't matter. You get attack first, doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the Cernias. I have three energies left, that's pretty nice. Okay, so I have this, the switch, the attack switch, the energy attachment. So I feel like I lose him in this turn. I definitely feel like I lose him this turn. Just get extra resources into my hand. And then I'll do this, I'll switch. I will attack switch these two energies, right, onto this friend, and then I'll attach, and then I kind of like using reset stamp here, just to give my opponent like extra cards, that means he's closer to decking himself out, and I'll also play this, so I play the other reset stamps, I mean my opponent's never gonna take a prize, right, so I'll just burn them to, pre to make myself more reset stamp proof. Right? Like if I draw a reset stamp off of reset stamp to one, that's not good. Right? That is not good. And there's a sanctuary GX. Goodbye. Goodbye, my friend. And now there's a custom catcher that was prized, which is good. Everyone says we have a good deck. And now there's a Shedinja, right? However, we have Lysander Labs, so we should be fine here. We should be fine. We should be fine. We see a Brox Grit. Where do you play three reset stamp? Um, with, the with the power plan you help the Latios. I mean, he already had enough Pokemon for the Latios, so it doesn't matter. Um, so it didn't matter. And so why do I play so many reset stamp? This is the deck that uh, got ninth place at Worlds, and reset stamp is really good with Guardi sealed in. Yeah, reset stamp. Oh, I had two custom catchers prized. Oops. Reset stamp is just overall really good. Yeah, but yeah. Um, Gardevoir sealed in, looking pretty strong when you don't dead draw. <laughs> looking pretty good when you don't dead draw. Okay, so we're gonna be moving on to our next deck, which is Quagnag. Yeah, so be on the lookout for that, guys. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, really helps out the channel. And if you are live with me on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back in just a second with the next deck, Quacknack. Be right 